Man, that was so good. So, guys, later on I get my eyes tested by an optometrist. Well, it looked like your eyes were too big for your stomach. Cut out, Mika. And then op shop are in the folly. Oh my god, look at this mess! You guys never do the dishes! It's like living with waters! Didn't you only save me half a pork bun? This is practically a crumb! I do not want to live my life this way, guys. Peace out. He's always overacting. You guys want this? Mm, no, you have it. Mm. Ugh, I am so over those three. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna head out on a hunt and look for three new flatmates. Hot, fresh, brown. Apparently, Bipa has what I'm looking for. So who will be B Street's next top presenters? Talofa Love Assist. Talofa. Now, this place, Pacific Institute of Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. Why was it set up? There was no place for a lot of our students who were at um, high school doing Polyfest, doing Bring It On, doing Stomp, and then where do they go to all this dance and acting and talent. We wanted to do um, a school that studied Pacific Studies, Pacific Music, Pacific Dance, as well as our Western forms of acting and dance. Is there any other place in New Zealand that offers that sort of teaching? Oh, this no. is the only one in the world. So they don't even do it in Hawaii or Samoa? No. no. So that point of difference that you guys offer is you still do the practical teachings of yes. performing arts, but mm -hmm. you add a Pacific flavor? This is in the Pacific Studies. They do a presentation of their genealogy and we, they trace back four generations. You're here to perform other people's stories. To do it justice, you need to understand and perform and know your own stories. How supportive have their families been towards them wanting to be in the performing arts sector? A lot of them come from families that need them to work, mm -hmm. and they don't mm. think of this as work mm. or as a future, oh, well, as a future thing. And now, oh. look. Uh, hello, yeah, I'm your making model. the money. Your model. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last year out of 14 students, 11 have got jobs in the industry. Mm. And so that is our real focus that we make it real for them that this can be a dream that they can be realised. Mm. Why do you two think it's important for Polynesians to be involved in? Performing arts. Performing arts is a reflection of society, and Pacific Islanders are a huge part of New Zealand, mm -hmm. especially Auckland. And so we must encourage our young ones and emerging actors and, and writers and dancers mm -hmm. to stand up and have a voice and tell our stories and tell their stories and in any way that they can express. Well, I love what you guys are doing here at Pipa, so that's why I'm here. I'm here to pick up three fresh, hot, brown Yay. talent to be on the show. Audition time? Yeah. Yes, came to the right place. Right. Okay, ladies, so who have we got first? We've got Tevita. I will be singing a song. Mm. Well, let's hope you bring out the sun today with your song. All right. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. Just one question. I'm a bit of a singer myself. Would you be willing to back me up? Of course. Right. Thank you, Tavita. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous, but I got you all a present. Wow. It's Don't worry, Sam, you get one too. It's going all out. Tough tie. Tie. Yeah. And I think I should be the next presenter for Pacific Beach Street, because I can bring the beat to the street. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little, a little too the wiggles. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. And that's not our demographic on the show. No. Yvonne? Yes, Yvonne. Yvonne. Uh, wow, she was Miss Thomas, New Zealand. Oh, Thomas, okay. Go on, I go back. Take me back to the day when we used to chill. Right. How would you feel going blonde? Oh my gosh, I was blonde before. Mm. It's a yes for me. Rita, how many times do we have to go through this? Singing does not <laughs> put food on the table. Singing does not pay the bills. You Singing does not pay the rent. Mama, did you know I could sing, but so could your daddy, and he died still trying. That is an amen, baby. You are going to Hollywood. <laughs> You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Okay, all right. Oh, look at that. Oh. Right door. This was his jacket. Probably an extra large. Yeah. 
It's perfect. It's I just want to thank the beautiful Bells and Ollie for letting me hang here at Beeper. Now, if you guys want more information, here is the website. We got our top three? Yes. All right, New Zealand, let me introduce you to our top three. My choice, of course. These guys. <laughs> now, guys, you know what the tagline is? Yes. See, see you back, back at, at the fire. Oh, see, it's perfect. It's made to be. Welcome to the house, guys. Now, this is the part where we feature our Facebook family and their comments on the show. So what I want you three to do is read out some of their comments, starting with you, give it up. Now, we asked you why it was important for Pacific Islanders to be involved in performing arts. And this is what you guys had to say. Nigel said it gives us the opportunity to share our cultures and values through our artwork around the world. Asia wrote, we as people are amazing storytellers and the stories would be amazing either on screen, on stage and on TV. Ina says, I believe PIs are naturally gifted in the area of performing arts, as this was how we expressed and told our stories before the written word. Because it's too much way better than the other three. Ahem. What's going on here? Why are they saying our lines? Who are these people? These are your three new replacements. <laughs> you guys are so last season. <laughs> Did you?